as competitors in the longest events at IAAF World Championships. Race walkers are required to demonstrate the endurance of a long distance runner while paying attention to technique that's usually associated with the technical events. Over the years, we've witnessed sporting drama of the highest order in race walk events and elite exponents have carved their own niche among the legends of athletics history. So let's take a moment now to look back at some of the race walk maestros who've become masters of their most demanding events. Number five, Anarita Sadotti. Italy's Anarita Sadotti was a pocket dynamo of race walking. A three-time Olympian who competed at the Games of 1992, 1996 and 2000, Sidotti garnered 11 international medals during her illustrious senior career, including two European titles over 10 kilometers outdoors and an indoor continental crown over 3,000 meters. Her European triumph in split 1990 at just 21 years old made her the first Italian woman to win race walking gold at a major championships. But it was at the 1997 World Championships in Athens where Sidotti scaled the heights of global gold medal glory, winning the 10km world title. The event was notable for being the first and final time that the women's walk would be contested as a 10,000m track event. From the 7th edition of the World Championships in Seville 1999, it would be 20 kilometers on the road. Sidotti was only added to the Italian team as a reserve, but she set a searingly hot pace in the high temperatures to take command of the race and lead from the second kilometre onwards. It was a position she never relinquished, racing to victory in a time of 42 minutes 55.49 seconds to win by more than half a minute. At just 4 feet 11 inches or 1.5 metres tall, Sidotti became the smallest world champion in history. After a long battle with cancer, Sidotti passed away in May 2015 at the age of 45. Number 4. Liu Hong The accomplishments of China's Liu Hong mark her out as one of the greatest race walkers of her generation. The two-time world champion in a 20-kilometer event is also the world record holder at that distance with a time of 1 hour, 24 minutes, 38 seconds. Liu's talent for race walking was discovered at an early age and she first stood atop a global gold medal podium when claiming the world junior title in 2006. Two years later, at just 21 years old, Liu entered the Beijing Olympics but just missed out on a medal, finishing in a creditable but also agonizing fourth place. Fast forward to 2015 and the World Championships in Beijing represented a real opportunity for Liu to claim a gold medal in the bird's nest. After setting the world record in June, she entered the race full of confidence and is the favorite for the title. But that mantle came with a spot of added pressure. On day seven and heading into the final weekend of the championships, the host nation was still in search of their first gold medal. From the gun, Liu established the lead on a looped one kilometer course but she had compatriot Lu Zhui Ji for company every step of the way. Liu and Lu shared the lead and the tactics, going through 5 kilometers in 22 minutes 24 and 10 kilometers in 44 minutes 19. As the athletes approached the iconic Bird's Nest Stadium, China were assured of gold and silver as Liu and Lu continued to shadow one another, well clear of the chasing pack. But it was Liu who eked out an insurmountable advantage to claim China's first gold of the championships and secure herself legendary status in the process. The Chinese 1-2 provided a nice note of symmetry, matching the gold and silver medal positions claimed by Chinese athletes in the first ever World Championships 20km race walk from the 1999 event in Seville. Number 3. Maurizio Damilano Maurizio Damilano is an essential linchpin in Italy's long-lasting love affair with race walking. A dominant figure during his era, Damilano competed at four Olympic Games and made the podium in three of them. In all, he claimed 14 medals in international senior competitions, including global titles in the 20-kilometer discipline at both the IAAF World Championships and the Olympic Games, where he triumphed on his Olympic debut in Moscow 1980. At the second edition of the IAAF World Athletics Championships in Rome 1987, Damilano delighted the home fans by utterly dominating a strong field. Each five-kilometer split was quicker than the last, and incrementally, the Italian's incessant tempo took its toll on the rest of his rivals as they dropped one by one. With three kilometers to go, 
Damilano's lead was insurmountable and the jubilant Italian spectators serenaded him all the way to the finish line of the Olympic Stadium. His first place finish and dominant manner of victory at a home world championships cemented Damilano's iconic status in his homeland. He successfully retained his title in Tokyo four years later, but only after a dramatic duel with Russia's three-time world indoor champion Mikhail Shchenikov. Both men entered the stadium together in the midst of the 100-meter heats. After sidestepping starting blocks, Shchenikov crossed the line first, only to discover that he'd surged too soon and there was still a lap to go. Damilano quickly overhauled the tiring Russian and built a decisive lead by the back straight to successfully defend his world title at the age of 34. Damilano called his second world crown his greatest victory. Number two, Jefferson Perez. Ecuador's Jefferson Perez is widely regarded as one of South America's greatest ever athletes. A four-time Olympian, Perez delivered the first Olympic title for his country in any event when he marched to victory in the 20-kilometer discipline at the 1996 Olympics. An Olympic silver from Beijing in 2008 in the same event means that both of Ecuador's Olympic medals are Perez's personal property. Perez stumbled into race walking by happenstance while preparing for a physical education exam in middle school. But his aptitude was immediately apparent and he won bronze in the 10,000 meter race walk at the World Junior Championships in Plovdiv 1990 at just 16 years of age. Two years later in Seoul, he won World Junior Gold in the same event. In the days prior to his second appearance at a World Senior Championships in 1999, Perez was diagnosed with a herniated disc in his back. Ever the competitor, Perez produced a battling performance to win silver. However, the injury required surgery after the championships, leaving Perez first immobile and then using a wheelchair for several weeks. After a hiatus from the sport to concentrate on his university studies, Perez returned to race walking and blazed an unprecedented trail of world championship glory. Starting at the 2003 championships in Paris, Perez won three consecutive world titles. His margin of victory in Paris was a mammoth 39 seconds as he set the inaugural world record of 1 hour 17 minutes 21 seconds. Successful defenders of his 20-kilometer race walk world titles in 2005 and 2007 saw Perez amass a haul of seven senior global titles, comprised of three world titles, three world cups and one Olympic triumph, solidifying his standing as a legend of race walking. Number one, Robert Korzeniowski. Robert Korzeniowski's litany of achievements singles out the Polish star as a pioneer of race walking. A four-time Olympic champion, he became the first athlete to win an Olympic race walk title more than twice and also the first person to win both the long and short events, doing so at the Sydney Olympics to win an unprecedented double in the space of seven days. As Korzeniowski amassed three world titles in the 50-kilometer discipline in 1997, 2001 and 2003 to go with his Olympic accolades. Korzeniowski regarded his world championship victory in Paris as the toughest race of his life. But such a stern challenge only served to bring out the very best in him. Not only did he successfully defend his world title, Korzeniowski also set a new world record, shaving 36 seconds from the world best time he established the previous year. He did so with negative splits, going quicker in the second half of the race than he did in the first, and won by a commanding margin of 39 seconds to secure a hat-trick of world titles in the 50-kilometer race walk. We hope you've enjoyed our look back at these top moments. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great athletics content and visit IAAF.org for the latest news, updates and information from the world of athletics.